Alright everybody, hello, I am back, it's been a while since I did a physical media update, but I had to get my laptop fixed, which I'm not going to go too much into, but I'm back here with my laptop, and I'm going to show you what I got in the past three months, so I got two CDs, 30 DVDs, technically 34 because one's a triple feature and one's a box set with like two things. Seven Blu-rays and four Nintendo Switch games, so let's just jump into it. Start with the two CDs, both of which I got from Amazon, and these are both Black Country New Road CDs, which Black Country New Road is a band I've become a big fan of this past year. Slip through these real quick. All those images are like stock images, so there's the disc. Yeah, for the first time, great album. Highly recommend it. Not the best packaging, though. <laughs> Anyway, this is one of my quickly become this next one is answering up there, which has quickly become one of my favorite albums of all time. And my favorite song from them overall is Sunglasses. Cool pictures. And both of these albums were released before the lead singer Isaac Wood left the band, but they're still gonna make music without him, they said. I heard like a video of like a show on YouTube where they perform new stuff and I liked it when I heard. So yeah, good stuff. And if I didn't say I got both of those from Amazon, so yeah. Alright, now on to the DVDs, which. Three of which I got at Target, but. The rest I got for 50 cents each at a used book sale, so yeah. If I don't mention where I got it from, I got it from Target. I mean, I got it from the book sale. So this one I got from Target, which I do have this movie on VHS, but I haven't seen it. But I'm happy to have it on DVD. And I, I do want to watch it sometime soon, so yeah. And also, R.I.P. Heath Ledger. Now, this is a hilarious movie. I've seen it a few times. It's a great cast. Chapter Guy. I did watch this movie on Netflix a couple years ago, and I thought it was really good. I 
And I haven't seen this movie, but I've I've seen parts of it, and it looked really good. So I'll have to check it out at some point because I like Sam Mendes. This is a movie I've been interested in watching for a while because I like Ryan Johnson and I've seen all his other movies and now the only one I don't own is Looper that he did and I'm excited for Glass Onion this holiday season. I've seen a clip of this movie, like the opening like car chase, and it looks awesome, so I'm going to have to check it out soon. And I did watch this movie a few years ago. I thought it was pretty good. And this is my first live home video DVD. Live entertainment. Interest is cool. And I have seen this movie and I think it's pretty good. Even though I hate the person who made it. Um, This one was like a box set, so it cost a dollar. Yeah. They didn't have Bruno on the cover. Not that Bruno from Encanto, but different Bruno. But yeah, I'm, I've been wanting this for a while because I do like the Ali G show a lot. And the show's not on HBO Max for some reason, but now I got the disc, so period. This is another movie I had on VHS, but I saw it last year and thought it was awesome, and I've been looking for the DVD for a bit, so happy I finally found it, because all the other DVDs I found were double features with U.S. Marshals, which I already have on DVD, so yeah. This is a movie I saw a few years ago, and I thought it was good. Yeah. And now I'm going to need a lot more Nicolas Cage, because I got this set. I've seen Drive Angry, Knowing, and Bangkok Dangerous. I haven't seen the rest. I saw Knowing in theaters, actually. And the movies are all on two discs, and there's no subtitles on any of them, but that's okay. And yeah. Joker. Oh, wait. But yeah, I, I have seen this movie a couple times, and I really like it, so happy to have it in my collection. And this is another one that I owned on VHS before, and now I have it on DVD. And this is an old DVD, actually, because like, it has like this promo for Columbia TriStar Home Video DVD. Very interesting. Yeah. I 
I saw this movie on HDNet Movies a while ago, and I thought it was really funny. But I haven't seen it in a while, but I've thought about rewatching it though, so. Yeah, I'm happy to have it in my collection. I don't know Disney owns this movie now, because Regency. And I did see this movie a few years ago, and I really enjoyed it, because I do think Elizabeth Olsen is a great actress, despite some inside joke with my friends. And I did see this movie a few years ago. I thought it was pretty good. Not sure it's as good as Mank, but it's solid. And this is a pretty good A24 movie I've seen a couple times. Definitely recommend it if you haven't seen it. Yeah, this is a movie I've heard things about, but I haven't seen it, so I decided to get it, check it out. And I haven't seen this movie in a long time, but I have seen it before and I really liked it. I might be having on disc. Chapter guide. And this is my second favorite movie of all time, which I already owned it on Blu ray and VHS. And I got it on DVD. And of course, this set is kind of iconic. Jackrabbit Slim's menu. This book, which I'm not going to show the inside of. It's the discs. Yeah, cool last set. I do say so myself. I kind of miss Miramax being owned by Disney because they have some cool sets like these and for like Amelie and some other movies. And this is. Like I got the Nick Cage set from Target, and this is the last one I got from Target, which is a triple feature. And I do own all three of these on VHS, but I decided to get them on DVD. And they did have these on Blu-ray, but I decided to get the DVD instead, because they were like Buena Vista DVDs. And yeah, I did see the all the Scream movies recently. I already seen the first one, but yeah, I'll talk more about that later. Mm, this is another one that I own on VHS, that not on DVD. I do think this is a pretty good movie, so yeah. And the artwork is doing something. This is another one I used to own, that I do still own on VHS, but now I have a DVD. And I've seen this one a couple times, and I like it. It's a good movie. This one I saw the trailer for a long time ago, and I thought it looked good, but I haven't seen it. But now I have it, so... Cool. 
This is one I haven't seen, but I remember reading that, like, something about it in, like, The Disaster Artist when I read part of that book. And yeah, I'm interested in checking it out. And R.I.P. Tony Scott. Now, I've heard that this is a classic movie, but surprisingly, I actually haven't seen it. But I do want to watch it soon. Because I heard that's a classic. Yeah. Now, R.I.P. Ricky Phoenix. And this is a movie I've heard a lot about because I am a big David Bowie fan, so yeah, I'm interest very interested in it. And this is another one I own on VHS. And this is a funny movie. Not my favorite Sandler, but I enjoy it. And now for the last DVD, which is actually one my mom owns, but I said I get my own copy because I enjoy the movie. And it's a cool DVD as well, I remember. Alright, that's it for the DVDs. Now on to the Blu-rays, which there are seven, which a few of these I got at Target and a few I got at Best Buy, so this one I got at Target, which is a Target exclusive. Is the normal version has like cover art that looks like this. Yeah, but I actually saw this in theaters twice, which I wanted to do, and I enjoyed it. So, yeah. And these next three I got at Best Buy, and the rest after that I got at Target. I saw this movie in theaters, and I really enjoyed it, so... Happy to have it on disc. Yeah, this one I watched on, I rented it in January and I liked it a lot. Still haven't seen House of Gucci, which is Ridley Scott's other movie from last year, but yeah. And this is the last one I have from Best Buy, which actually, hold on. Sorry to pause for a bit because my dad needed something, but yeah, this is a Good movie, I thought. Not my favorite Paul Thomas Anderson, but... Good stuff. And... Got like a poster here, which I'm not gonna show, but... The discs, which... Always nice to see disc art. Yeah, it's cool alternate artwork, so yeah. Paul Thomas Anderson always puts a, a lot of care into like his home video releases. It's always good to own his stuff. And then these last three got a target. Because I mentioned I had the screen set earlier. And I watched this movie as well, and 
I don't th this was probably my favorite and now I own all the movies except four which I'm never getting because I hate that movie so yeah and this is another one I saw in theaters twice which second time was in IMAX because I want to see it in IMAX, and I'm glad I did. Yeah. And now for the last Blu-ray, which I did see this movie in theaters and. I liked it a lot, very scary. And I'm interested in seeing the Pearl movie when that comes out. Alright, that's, that's it for the Blu rays, and now on to the grand finale, which is the Nintendo Switch games, which. All of these come from Best Buy, and I played a little bit of this, and it was pretty fun. I'm excited to play more because I love Lego games. The only other Lego game I have for Switch is Lego City Undercover, and. I actually had Super Luigi U for the Wii U, but not Super Mario Bros. U, so plan on this one. This is like a big box, just because there's something in here that you want to see. Not really like any descriptions on the back because that's all that comes in the box and stuff, but yeah, I got this leg strap which is cool, which it's a Joy Con. And yeah. And now for the grand finale. And I actually played part of this on my cousin's Switch, and I liked playing it, so I'm excited to get it. And that's it for this, so stay tuned. Hopefully soon we'll get some more stuff, but I don't know if it'll be like this big, but we'll see. Alright, bye.